Look at what we got going on. This is Milton's happy place. Milton loves the snow. Look at my boy. He's probably just gonna walk all the way out there and then just sit down. There's Maddie. Milton is so far away right now. Look, there he <laughs> Okay, wait a minute. Milton! 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 Oh, geez. I suspected he just sat down so far away, but this is his favorite place. Morning guys, I am awake. Uh, as you can see, not, not quite ready to go just yet. I have about 20-30 minutes before I start exercising, but I actually have a bit of a headache this morning, so I'm going to see if the electrolytes in the Zip Fizz can kind of help with that before I hop on the bike. So it is time for the Zip Fizz Shake. And today we are having, I gotta put that in my robe pocket today. <laughs> today we are having, bam, pink lemonade. Like I said, I only have two flavors in the roulette. I need to actually dump the unopened boxes into the roulette so I don't keep drawing the same ones, but I will never, ever, ever complain about pink lemonade. Shout out to Chris and Mary Keto Chow. Don't forget, you can get 10% off your Keto Chow purchase using the link in the description. Also, they started the new Chow Club last month where it's like a monthly subscription of like curated keto chow flavors. I'm 100% here for it. I'll also put the link for that down below. You get a special discount if you click on that link. So I'll put the keto chow link and the chow club link down below. But now it's zip fist time. Oh, okay. All right, guys, let's get ready to shake it. A little, little gently in three, two, one. That's all I got for you today. Something's better than nothing, okay? to feeling better, to facing whatever challenges the day brings, and to reaching our goals. Mm, mm, so delicious. Well, I'm gonna edit videos for like 20 or 30 minutes, hopefully get all this together, and then I'm hopping on my bike, so I'll talk to you then. Okay guys, I'm out here riding my bike in a legit, like, it's not a snowstorm anymore, but boy, has it snowed right the temperature is not too bad but like the ground is covered in snow like ground wear you know what i'm saying so i'm just gonna be out here getting my life morning guys it is time for my first meal meaning that i am going to break my fast i am 44 hours fasted right now look at me okay so I'm going to end my fast. I am breaking my fast with cello wisps, Parmesan and cheddar. I'm also breaking my fast with this egg witch. This is Red's egg witch turkey sausage and cheese. It is only three total carbs. I'm obsessed. So for this entire breakfast, it is going to be five total carbs. I am counting total carbs this week sticking under 30 and so five total carbs. This egg which is delicious. It is eggs and cheese and turkey sausage. I have added salt, pepper, and hot sauce. Give it a bite. Mm. Perfect. For three total carbs coming out of the microwave, perfect. Got my water here starting on the first cup. That zip fizz that I had did not count, so I got a full gallon to go. This is probably one of five or six, so I am getting a good start to my day and I'll let you know what I eat next. What is my husband making right now at the stove? Just a bunch of sausage. Mmm, that sausage looks great. I know. I didn't know, I didn't know you had that sausage. I went down to the freezer. You hold a sausage hoarder. It's oh, having a deep freeze. Oh, secret sausage. I'm having an amazing deep freeze mm -hmm. and stockpiling your meat. You're Nobody stockpiles meats like my husband. Exactly. Oh my goodness. That looks good. You gonna eat all of that? You don't have a sausage for your wife? You don't have no wife sausage? That <laughs> is a prerequisite. Ah, well, hello. Anytime you cook anything, no, you always need to have a wife you portion. Have a wife sausage. Oh, I love my husband's sausage. You're so beautiful. Okay, guys, I'm having a mid morning snack. This is just pepperoni chips, aka pepperoni.
pepperonis on a plate that I heated up in the microwave. So all I did was just literally take pepperonis and put them in a single layer and then put them in the microwave for a minute. And then they come out and they're all like crispy. Sometimes they do that little like U-shaped top hat thing. I don't know if you can tell. See, it's like a, it's like a little hat. There you go. It's like a little disc. Mmm. Salty, meaty, delicious. Tough, chewy. My favorite things. Okay, guys, but as you can see, like, a lot of the fat from the pepperoni, like, comes out on the plate. Do you guys have a plan for, like, what to do with that? Like, I'm being super fat, and I'm trying to, like, rub it around <laughs> to, to have the pepperoni pick up some more of that fat. But, like, how do you, how do you, like, I need, like, a biscuit, but we don't eat biscuits. But how do you, like, sop this up, you know? Okay, guys, I am on the bike. I went to the salon, got my hair did. Yeah, but uh, I still got to exercise. So, I'm on the bike. I'm about 17 minutes in, so got almost 30 minutes to go. We are watching some television. After I get off the bike, then I will be able to eat. I'm so excited. Burgers and brats, but this is me. I'm doing it. Catch you later. Okay, guys, part one of my meal prep is burgers. I'm having burgers and brats. I actually like to heat them up separately because it takes me about 10 minutes to eat this and I don't want my brats sitting there getting room temperature while I'm eating my burger. So I will eat these and then I will heat my brats up separately. But this is just two burgers with two ounces of cheese. So an ounce each, two slices of bacon on each patty. And then I've covered it in regular yellow mustard and hot sauce. And it's just fatty and delicious. Yep, picking it up with my hand. That's where we are. Oh, look at that cheese pull, yeah. Delicious, classic. Some of the cheese kind of melts on the plate. This is delicious. Basically carnivore. There what might be two grams of carbs total just because of the cheese. Like, I love it. I'm here for it. Okay, guys, I am back with the brats. These are deliciously burnt brats that my husband made. Uh, they are not uh, that grill catastrophe that happened a couple weeks ago. I posted that on Instagram if you saw it. If you did not, I will put that right here. Like... This is not what I mean when I say burnt meat, okay? This is not it, right? But this is it. It is delicious. My husband grilled it for me, and all I have is mustard on it, and it's amazing. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. It is. It's just like charred and chewy. Mm-hmm. This is delicious. I'm going to eat this, and then I will uh, have dessert. I don't know, but you're so cute. Nobody wants to hear about how cute I am. Okay guys, I am finishing up my meal today with my two favorite snacks ever. Number one, moon cheese. Cheddar Believe It, is that what it is? Cheddar Believe It, I, I love it. And then second, I'm ending the day with my chocolate peanut butter keto bar. These are actually the highest total carb thing that I'm having today. Literally everything else I've had today is 12 total carbs like combined. This is 13 total carbs in itself. So today I'm having 25 total carbs, which hey, still works for me. I feel good. So got my bar here, it is amazing. Okay, so moon cheese is just like little crunchy cheese puffs. Like they're awesome. Look, mm, mm. It's just cheese, but they like puffed it up to make it seem like it's from the moon. If you were to eat cheese on the moon, this is what it would taste like. I will pack my bags, okay? Because I am ready to go. Okay, this keto bar. One of my favorite bars ever because the ingredients are so clean. Listen to this. Peanut butter, chocolate, coconut, non-GMO erythritol, water, salt, stevia. That's it. That's it. Literally, I have all of these things in my house right now. I could make this if I wanted to, like, figure out what the ratios were. But, like... It is so clean. I'm 100% here for it. Look, I'll open it for you. Okay, it's like a little chocolatey fudge bar. You can see the little pieces of coconut in it. It is amazing. Okay, taking a bite. Mmm. It's so fudgy and it's so rich. Like, this is one of my favorite things because it is so dense and satisfying. It melts in your mouth. It's kind of like a no-bake cookie, like just like a fudgy, melty bar, and it's amazing. Those are literally like one of my favorite things. I will eat those and still consider it a clean day. I can have one of those and still stay under 25 total carbs. Like 
I'm here for it. So I'm gonna eat my snacks, drink the rest of my water, and then see what else I can get into today. Probably just more water. I ain't got nothing else but water. Hashtag nothing but water. I think the last time we talked about this, I said that the 75 hard challenge, the gallon of water was like so much that I didn't need to drink anything else during the rest of the day. But for the past week, I've actually been able to incorporate a Sunkist or a diet soda. It's usually either Sprite Zero or like a Sunkist. I have found that I really, really enjoy the tart flavor of like these, you know, lemon lime or orange flavored soda so i like having this i still drink a whole gallon of water i'm, I'm halfway done now but I'm st i still drink that but i have this too so i'm gonna have me a sun kissed get back to work but i just wanted to let you know my husband <sighs> is making some chicken what is this chicken concoction it's just chicken oh it's just chicken yeah. is that the color of just chicken it's red like that i don't know it's a uh, barbecue chicken it's just chicken, butter, and G-Hughes. So that's not just chicken. It's <laughs> bubbly. It looks delicious. Look at the little, like, burnt. No, no. That's yeah. what I did on purpose. Just I love it. Wife. Just for my wife. I, well, I'm not eating none of I it. Know, but just for your uh, visual salations. Ooh, my visual salations. Ooh. Nice, babe. That's great. <laughs> that looks great, sweetie. You're so cute. Love you. Okay, guys. Here's my gallon. It's empty gallon of water drank, exercise twice done, reading book done, progress pictures done, eating on plan done. Today was a great day. It was busy, but it was really productive and I'm really proud of myself for sticking to my eating plan. I'm just really proud of myself for like feeling stronger mentally because it's like a snowball. All you got to do is do it one, two, three days in a row and before you know it, that momentum starts and you feel great. So. I am, I am coasting down that hill. That snowball is happening. I mean, figuratively and literally outside, it is still snowing. Like, what's happening in Louisville right now? I don't know, but I had a great day today. I hope you can say the same. Let me know if you count net or total carbs as well. I've been really focusing on trying to find a meal plan counting total carbs that I can like stick to because I really want to make total carbs sustainable. So I'm glad I found at least one meal plan. I gotta find a way to make taco tray better. It's just so much lettuce. But let me know in the comments down below, total carbs or net carbs. Okay, have a good day and I'll see you next week. Bye. <laughs> You're unmentionable. Exactly. <laughs> Is that what you <laughs> This angle don't look too bad. What angle? Let me see. What? He's having a hat. He has a. Stop it. All right, leave me alone. Uh, leave you alone?